Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Nick. Let's get into it right off the bat. A couple cool things coming up. I have my TV lift cabinet that I've been working on pretty darn hot and heavy. Getting the drawers done and the doors. I also have the hardware done. I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. Hoping to have that out mm, later this week. Beginning of next week, it's kind of hard to say. That's been a lot of editing to that, but I am absolutely loving, loving how that cabinet is coming along. Everything just kind of, I don't know, you get those projects to where everything just kind of comes together and you're super happy on how it turned out. Uh, the next thing I wanted to note is Jay Bates, Matt Cremona, and myself are going to be doing a Q&A of sorts. Not exactly sure whose channel it's going to be on. It's going to be a video slash audio, but emphasizing on the audio. And if you have any questions for any of us, Go ahead and leave those in the comments section down below. It could be essentially anything. If you could, just make sure to put Q&A in front of your comment. And uh, if we don't get to it the first time around, we're going to do a couple of them. So um, leave those comments down below and we'll uh, be more than happy to ask or ask or answer any of those. And um, just kind of a, I don't know, an impromptu thing. We were hanging out one night and said, hey, why don't we do one of these and, and see where it goes. So anyways... With the holidays rolling right around, I was fortunate enough to go to our local holiday parade, and that was actually a ton of fun. Um, and as my buddy Steve Carmichael, the drummer of the world, I am a huge fan of the drum line. When those bands go through, whether it's the high schools or whatever, when the drum lines go through, that is definitely just something that I... I just get a kick out of so with my my recently acquired selfie stick i got right up into the action and uh, was able to see the drum lines from numerous high schools and i don't know is that just you know the type of thing it just kind of gets your foot stomping and that type of thing you, you, you get into the whole thing and i don't know it was a good time it was a little bit chilly which is weird because that happened uh, about a week ago and now we've had unseasonably warm weather either way i you know Sometimes it's not in the cards to have all that happen in the same time. But another cool thing related to the holidays, we were able to, uh, we, me and my wife, were able to take my kids to, um, I'm, they don't call it the Festival of Lights. What do they call it? Uh, garden of Lights. And there's an area botanical garden with a few acres of uh, botanicaleries. I'm not even quite sure what you'd call it, but they have a few acres uh, during the summer, spring, and fall months. They obviously have all the botanical stuff that you can go see, all the flowers and bushes and trees and all that good stuff. But they actually decorate the botanical gardens with all sorts of sparkling and multicolored lights. And that was just a blast to go see because that we were actually able to go and partake in while we still had some of the warmer weather and man every year they add some more lights i forget what they say it is but it's like a million plus lights or 1.2 million lights you know and you get to walk around it takes i don't know i'd say about 45 minutes to an hour maybe an hour and 15 minutes to walk around the whole grounds and, and see all the cool lights i just thought that was awesome it was, it was a it was an overall good time which kind of brings me to my next point in the gift giving and holiday spirit I thought it was really neat that my buddy Sean Rabino last Christmas season had sent me this inside out turning ornament for my Christmas tree. On the outside it was silver uh, leaf and then the inside gold leaf and on the bottom finial kind of a copper leaf patina thing. So that was last Christmas, right? What did I get in the mail not too long ago? A smaller turning tools set because Sean knows that I was in the search for a lathe and he sent he was nice enough to send me some turning tools which I thought was really awesome and I'm gonna use these and uh, Sean and I had just actually just talked about it he's sending me a sticker so he can put his sticker on the outside I'm gonna use these tools and when I'm done using them then I can send them along to somebody else and I'll put my moniker on them and uh, they'll be kind of a traveling set of uh, lathe turning tools i thought that was really neat and so now that's two years in a row sean has sent me something for christmas i can't wait for next year <laughs> and i suppose if you're in the the gift giving spirit nothing better to, than to send somebody what 
a Christmas potato. From my buddy Ty Moser at Monoloco Workshop. Both Sean and Ty have YouTube channels. I'll put their links down below. And uh, got this in the mail the other day. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I had to ask him about it. And he was saying that somebody on Fiverr was uh, offering to send somebody a potato for five bucks. So Merry Christmas, Ty. <laughs> I thought that was super hilarious. And that, you know, it's just kind of one of those things around here on YouTube. You get to meet people and you get a Christmas potato in the mail. Well, if anyone is uh, thinking about sending me anything, why don't you take the Sean Rabino approach rather than the Ty Moser approach? <laughs> That's about all I have for you. I just wanted to remind you guys again that uh, um, Jay Bates, myself, and Matt Cremona are doing a QA. and a I think we're taping it like tomorrow or the next day. Anything you guys want to know, whether it's woodworking or YouTube related, go ahead and put those in the comments section and then just start it out with a Q&A so that I can kind of browse through them real quick and uh, and hopefully we'll be able to answer those. And I think we're going to be doing a couple of those, but look for those on, on one of our channels. I'm not quite sure how it's all going to work, but that should be a cool and fun time. Well, until I see you guys next time, you guys, take care. <laughs>